10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. And liftoff. Go Falcon. Let freedom ring. Godspeed, Crew 4. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Copy, one Alpha. Stage one propulsion, phenomenal. And Miko. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. And Freedom Copies, we're glad to be in orbit. Dragon, SpaceX, launch escape system is disarmed. Freedom Copies. Dragon, SpaceX, Dragon separation confirmed. Freedom Copies. To the space station. SpaceX copies, 10 meters. Hey everyone, Andrew the Astronaut here, and I hope you enjoyed that little intro cinematic there. Uh, it was the journey of Crew 4. That was all the audio files I could find, so here I am voicing over. Um, at around the time when Crew 4 is now undocking and re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. So as you can see, we're doing our docking maneuver with the International Space Station. And thank you to who created this ISS model on Kerbal X. I'll link them down below. And this is the six months stay that the Crew 4 astronaut did on the ISS. Now, it's not actually six months, but it's close enough to six months that I'm going to call it six months. Why? Because I, I'm making the video. I make the rules. Uh, so we're just going to time warp six months in Kerbal time um, is, let me do the, if my calculations are correct, which they always are. Um, that's 30 days by six, six months. That's 180 days. Yeah, 180 days, which is in Kerbal hours is, oh boy, um, <laughs> around a thousand hours, basically. And I can't time warp that far or else it'd be very nauseating. This is the undocking sequence and the uh, deorbit burn sequence. Now, I was originally thinking that they used the Super Dracos for deorbiting, but I figured out that they just use the normal Draco thrusters because they're a bit more efficient. I did have to research this. Uh, there were a few unreliable sources saying that the astronauts jumped out and used their jetpacks to deorbit the craft, but I know that's not true unless you're a Kerbal player. So this is our deorbit burn finished, and I did a little bit more, and now we're on a reentry course. We're gonna jettison the trunk 
which holds a lot of waste from the space station, you know, garbage, uh, human waste, stuff that can be disposed, a very fiery garbage service, if you will. And this is the Dragon Capsule re-entering. I should probably talk a bit more about the Dragon Capsule itself. Um, I used the design from Everyday Astronaut. Uh, his video will also be linked in the description, which I took inspiration from. But a lot of people, when they make stock dragon recreations, they have to use structural panels for the Super Dracos. I just decided to use thud engines and just put the fuel on the bottom of the craft so it's a bit more heavy than a normal capsule. So it takes a bit more parachutes to make sure something doesn't explode. Anyway, with these fiery re-entry flames and G-forces, our crew will be splashing down right next to the coast of this desert here. Now, in real life, Crew 4 will splash down near Florida. I think it's near Jackson's? Somewhere. Uh, correct me in the comment section, but we're just going to deploy our parachutes. The drogue chutes first, and then we're going to deploy the main chutes, and then once the drogue chutes deploy, and then the main chutes deploy, we're going to cut the drogue chutes. Drogue chutes have deployed now. In a, just a second, we're going to cut those because uh, we're not going to need them anymore once the main chutes unfurl. And there it is. We're going to cut the drogue chutes. And we're going to coast down serenely down into the water. And I hope you enjoy watching this cinematic video in celebration of Crew 4. This is Andrew the Astronaut signing off. Thank you for watching and remember to smash that like button, subscribe, and click the bell.